walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July. Hi there. This is going to be a new project and it's going to be a winter coat refashion. I want to introduce you to a treasured winter coat. I have worn this thing for about, oh, maybe six or seven years in a row and um, it's falling apart. Well, it's not falling apart. It's just losing buttons and wearing holes in things and cuffs. This is actually a army coat from the late 1940s. I got it at a thrift store a long time ago. When I got it, it was much longer. It was about a foot and a half longer. And I wanted more of a uh, women's trench coat where it's like um, just below your bum but not all the way down just to make it usable but what I've run into is um, one things are falling off and this was originally made for a man and I obviously am not and so what I want to do is restyle it so that it fits me better um, restyle the cuffs I have some of this where it looks kind of like a Sherpa type thing on one side and plaid coziness on the other. I want to do something with that for the collar and cuffs. I'm thinking about taking it from a double breasted to a single breasted coat. And the back, it has this like flap thing, which it does keep the wind out, but a lot of times when I'm walking around, it ends up pooching out and it looks like I have a funky tail, which is not really, you know, optimal. So that's going to be our project. We'll see how it goes. taken me probably about 10 minutes just to pick out oh what is that maybe 11 inches of stitching and half of this top piece I don't know what they used in their thread back then but I want it this is the most intensely sewn strong thread I've ever seen it's fabulous gotta get some so finally, I have the back flap open. I'm going to eventually need to come back, close it back up, and reinforce the top. But I'm leaving it open right now for while I'm working on everything else. The next thing is I've opened up the edges. I had a, at one point I had an idea of putting lace in here. It did not work. Um, so I'm going to take these little flaps off and these buttons. I want to do something totally different with the shape of the cuff, so those are going to be next to come off. And then I'm going to pull off, this thing has buttons hidden everywhere. I'm going to pull off a lot of extra buttons in the front because I'm going to go from double breasted to single breasted, so I'll pull those off too. Alright, so I've pulled off a lot of buttons and straps, and this is what we have right now. You can see where I pulled buttons off when it was double breasted. My problem was, because I have wider hips than the man this was made for, I could button it, but it would always be kind of snug. So doing this, I've got a lot of room to play, and I think I can make it a better silhouette. So...
to just see how much thread is on every single button. And this is just a little button under a collar, not even under a lot of stress. And uh, I think that they use a strand that has probably like a coil that has like eight threads in each in each swipe so they don't have to take too many there. Crazy. I have decided while I am at it, I am going to take off these shoulder straps. Why are they epaulet straps? Um, I really never had a use for them. And so it's just one more thing to give me a little bulk. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those off before I put the collar on. Instead of sewing a whole piece onto the back, just to try to eliminate some of the bulk. Um, I'm not sure yet. I still need to decide. Good morning. We had a big ice drop last night. Probably have about an inch of hard pack ice. And then another inch of snow on top of that. So that was fun this morning. I kept the horses in all night so that they uh, could stay cozy. And just now I went and turned them out. Um, I can stand on top of snow. We had a big layer of snow and then some ice on top of that. And now you can walk on top of snow drifts, which is fun until you fall through. Not so fun. And... Um, a good thing, a positive thing, is it's a lot easier to push a big heavy wheelbarrow over ice than it is over snow. Especially ice with a little bit of snow on it so you have some traction. So looking for the positive, that was good this morning. But I'm back onto this coat now. <clears throat> Let's see here if I can angle. What I'm doing is I cut a piece of this stuff and I'm kind of loosely basting it to the collar so it can hold in place. What I plan on doing is then coming back and machine stitching it on. I, this stuff isn't going to fray because it's got like a knitted background on it. So I think if I just stitch it fairly close to the edge with like a white thread and a khaki-ish colored bobbin, I should be okay. So that's what I'm working on today. <clears throat> piece with some scraps just to see how it goes. I've got my green thread on top and my white as the bobbin. 
because I'm thinking that might feed through better. So let's see. I'm putting a pretty wide stitch, not a... Let's see if I can get this close to the edge here. Well, my green doesn't match exactly, but there was an ice storm last night and I'm not leaving the house. I uh, got a little looping here, but it looks like it worked itself out. The only thing is I show this line, I'm trying to decide how I like that. I might try coming back one more time around at the very edge and see what that does. Okay, so this is at the very edge. I mean, I could whip stitch this on, but honestly, this canvas is so densely woven that after a few inches, my hands will hurt. So, don't want to. Um, I'm not feeling terribly secure about going on the very, very edge, at least in the beginning. So I might just do this about an eighth of an inch in and then if it looks like it's not nice, well, I can always take it out. But I think that's what I'm going to go for. to show you guess what can you see it's snowing again yeah icicles the ice on the roof it has turned from a lovely fluffy blanket of snow that falls off every now and then into solid ice and it'll like it's thick it's thick I tried to punch some down on a lower level this morning and I hurt my hand so yeah that's when that comes down that's gonna hurt some
Okay, so I have my loop, and what I'm going to do is slip it inside my uh, sleeve, and I am clipping it so the right side of the fluff is against the wrong side of my cuff or my sleeve. I got to admit, I did this wrong the first time because it seems so bizarre and I had to unpick it. Um, in that way, when you sew it and you turn the, the Sherpa stuff right side out, it makes a nice edge. And then I can just whip stitch the lining to the uh, inside of the sleeve. So that's how you do it. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go sew it. Alrighty, so we're getting there. So here's the cuff just sewed on and turned. And the raw edge is still on top here. Um, this one I have folded down the raw edge on top about an inch. And I kind of like the look of it just loose like that. So I think what I'm going to do is just come inside and with a needle and thread whip stitch this down so it's kind of invisible and then um, at the there you go at the underarm seam I'm going to tack it on so it won't fold back down again so that's my next step I think it's coming together well all right so I have turned my sleeve inside out and my lining's a little long, so I'm going to go ahead and trim the rough edge off my lining, fold it under, and whip stitch it in, and then my sleeve should be done. Okay, so with the cuffs done, um, I just quickly tacked some buttons in place just to make sure that they would line up with the buttonholes which they do. So I'm going to go ahead and secure them on really well. Um, these have a tiny little button that backs them up so that you have a, and their big buttons actually kind of have a shank molded into them. So you have a nice gap. So they're made for a coat. So I didn't want to replace them because, you know, they're iconic. But that's what I'm going to be doing, sewing the little backing button on with the big button and um, just these three. And then I'm going to work on uh, sewing together the vent in the back and doing a little finishing on the hem that's open. And then we're going to be done.
to button back in the liner. It has this uh, wool liner with a satin top and it's removable so when the weather is not so cold you can take it out and still use the jacket. And I left all the little flappy parts that the liner buttons onto so I'm going to button that back on and try it on. Really? Really? Is that necessary? I'm walking around feeling free Thinking about what's Two. happened to me from July Maybe it'll... Up till now Don't know where Don't know how Lately I've come to realize That I can't see it in your eyes So it's true I'm so glad you feel it too Stay. 